Hello friends, Jermaine here and welcome to this video. The AWS Amplify plugin has been updated a couple of times since the last video I made on this series. So we're going to be spending some time here, hopefully it shouldn't take that long, to upgrade our current project to the latest version of Amplify. Let's get started. What we need to be aware of is that the Amplify core package is now renamed to amplify flutter so i'm going to come to the pubspec.yaml file and i'll change this bit to amplify flutter and then once i'm done i can go ahead and run a pubget alternatively you can type flutter pubget in the terminal and also in fact you can go ahead and also run flutter pub outdated to see packages that have been outdated and uh, direct dependencies we need to upgrade these packages to the latest. So we can do that by running flutter pub upgrade, which should go ahead and upgrade our current dependencies to the latest. And then to confirm that it's upgraded, we'll run flutter pub outdated again. And then it should say direct dependencies all up to date. All right, now let's go ahead and then we'll replace all our Amplify core imports. So let's do that in all the files. And to address the other errors popping up, the way we configure Amplify is different now. We can get rid of this Amplify instantiation because these methods are now static. So we can do Amplify to add plugin and this takes a list like so and it's add plugins and then over here we can do amplify.configure and they also have a new exception object that we can listen for so over here we'll do on amplify already configured exception and then we're able to catch that and deal with it whichever way we need to and let's go to the login screen so over here we need to listen to the auth exception so that means we can simplify this a whole lot more i'll comment this bit for now and then i'll log out the message followed by the recovery suggestion and then let's do the same this one here And I'll comment that bit out as well. We'll have the same with sign up. Okay, let's see the other screens as well. And we need to resolve this or else we won't be able to run it. And we show the message. Okay. Now uh, let's try running this. All right, cool. There we have it. Let's try creating an account. Then I'll enter the confirmation code sent to me. All right, so I'm logged in and when I hit that, looks like we're hitting an exception. So this is our Amplify already configured exception. Let's keep going. Okay, so what we see happening is in our entry screen, because Amplify is already configured the first time round and because it's thrown an exception, we never get to run this set state function so there are two ways of handling this we can either do finally and move this in here which is saying that whether we succeed or we fail still run this block so that's one way of doing it and if i do a hot restart 
and you can even see here that we we got the exception and uh, let's try the login logout flow right so we're still getting this amplifier already configured exception there is another way of configuring our amplify package so that we don't hit this exception every time we redirect to our login screen and i'll do that over here in the lib directory so i'll create a new dart file and then we'll call it configure amplify okay so in here we will import the relevant packages including our amplify configuration and then i'll come back here and then i'll grab this method i'll place that in here we'll make this a future returning void we'll make this public then we can get rid of that save this file and then we'll come to our main.dart and then we'll import our helpers file like so we'll mark this as async and then if we need to run any asynchronous operation be before we run our flutter app we need to do widgets flutter binding dot ensure initialized before doing so i also get some errors and then we can await on configure amplify then we'll come back to our entry dot dart file then we can get rid of all of that and then get rid of that as well so we just have login and let's stop and start this app again in fact let me clean this bit okay let's start here again all right let's log in and let's log out again okay so this looks better we're not seeing any exceptions throwing in the console so that's a good thing next let's look at our exception handling logic so what happens when we log in with a wrong password okay so we got sign in failed and let's check this again all right so we've got the correct exception and then it just says sign in failed um, see attached exception for more details and in here it says incorrect username or password if you like you can show the appropriate message but for now i'll just show these two and let's go ahead then we got that well let's try the password recovery Okay, and we'll enter our new password, the confirmation code, or well, let's enter an incorrect code and let's see what happens. Okay, an error occurred confirming password. So I mean so far our exception handling is much more cleaner. The AWS team have managed to simplify that so that's a good thing. I should be able to get rid of that as well. I'm gonna go ahead and run this app on iOS and part of the reason I want to run on iOS simulator apart from checking that it works is also to test this particular edge case. So first of all let's try and run this we are getting an error all right we may need to do a flutter clean and let's do a flutter packages get and let's go into ios and go into our pod file and we need to make sure we're setting this to 11 and then we'll also open this directory in xcode and opening the ios directory in xcode we want to make sure that under runner project runner the deploy target is set to 11 and I think we can do a clean build by hitting command shift K 
Then once we're done, we can come back here. Then let's try running this again. All right, that is good. Let's try logging in. All right, so there we have it. And then when I log out, okay, so we can come over here. Let's try resetting another password. Let's enter an incorrect code. Valid verification code provided. Please try again. And then let's enter the correct code. Okay, cool. And then what happens when we log in? And then we stop the app and then run the app again. And let's try logging in with the same account. Okay, there's already a user which is signed in. Please log out the user. Okay, we still need this piece of logic. Let me add a breakpoint here. And do that again. Okay, there's already a user which is signed in. All right, so we can re-enable this bit and then get rid of all of that. And we can do either message contains that. If it does, then we'll sign out and then we'll display this instead. Okay, let's try this. Okay, please try again. And then I'll go ahead and log in. And then we are logged in. So I mean, from this, I can say the Amplify Flutter integration looks to be coming along pretty smoothly. It has been a lot easier to work with. So I'm going to end the tutorial here. Perhaps in future, I might create another series with this, building something a bit more substantial. If you enjoyed this, let me know down in the comments below. Also, hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you don't miss out on future updates like this one. If you have any questions or you just wish to give any general feedback, let me know down in the comments below and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.